Sappy paper. Sappy paper is manufactured only from wood coming from sustainably managed forest and plantations. The timber used in the making of this paper comes either from deciduous trees like birch or conifer trees like pine. Conifer trees are also preferable as they make a stronger kind of paper because of their stronger fibers. When the logs enter the manufacturing plant, they enter a rotation drum because they have to remove all the bark that was in the log before they enter the plant. After that, they are chipped and transported to the pulp mill. There, they are cooked to dissolve lining and separate plant fibers. Fibers then are washed and this creates a pulp that's soft and fibrous, but it still has some lining residual in it. They bleach it to eliminate this residual lining and it creates a pulp that's soft and white and it's also the main ingredient to the making of the entire paper. The yellow brown wood chips that entered into the paper mill have now been turned into a soft and white pulp. This pulp is the main raw ingredient in the creation of the paper. This white pulp can be baled and dried and also is transported to other paper mills that may have no their own pulp and also requires a specific type of pulp. The next step in the creation of the paper is the mixing of this pulp with a lot of water. By far, the water is the most important material in the creation of the paper. Now this solution is refined by passing through stationary blades and rotation stations. The final solution uh, with that cre is created by the mixing of the pulp and the water now remains suspended in the water and with all its chemical components is ready to get into the paper machine. The paper machine is the heart of a paper mill, a continually running series of manufacturing processes that will convert the pulp solution into the perfect paper grade for each mark application. The head box is located at the beginning of the paper machine. Here, the pulp solution is injected at high pressure, directly into the space between two continuously rotating wires. This carries the pulp into the gap former, which rapidly drains the excess wire from both sides. This immobilizes the pulp within milliseconds of leaving the head box, turning it into a continuous web of paper, stiff well and fragile, but already exhibiting its most important sheet properties. The delicate paper web is now carried into the press section by continuously loop wet folds, which carry away most of the up of the wire and stop the sheet from tearing. At the shoe press, the paper web is forced between a soft rotating wire pressing against a hydraulically actuated metal pad. Water is squeezed out of the paper by this pressure, and this is absorbed and carried away by the wet felt. Then it goes to the drying cylinders that are the longest section of the paper machine. The cylinders dry the paper to give it the strength for it to be self support and making it ready for the process of the build to find its surface qualities. Then the paper passes through a machine calendar where two finely polished steel cylinders ensure that the paper thickness is consistently even. The paper then passes through a series of sizing and coating presses where starch and coating colors are applied to its surface. The coating color is sprayed on a, a elastic roll which then transfers the coating film into the paper web. The coating ends up as an uniformly thick coating layer which follows the surface of the paper. After the coating process, the surface is dried by infrared heating panels and drying cylinders. Paper is then wound onto a series of steel cores, which press against a pop reel. This makes sure that the paper is wound at the right tension onto each core. The airline creates a jumbo reel, containing 80 kilometers of paper sheet, 8.5 meters in width and weighing 120 tons. The paper machine operators carefully check every aspect of the base paper quality, its thickness, opacity and smoothness, making sure these are as exactly as specified, before allowing the robot truck to carry the jumbo reel away for further treatment and finishing processes. 
The final surface qualities of each batch of paper are controlled in the coating and finishing lines. For example, the paper from the jumbo reel may be sold with a gloss or matte finish, natural or bright white in color. Are mixed according to precise recipes in tanks in the coating kitchen. Mint is calcium carbonate, which makes the paper surface white, but the coating solution may also include clay and talcum powder. To create a smoother surface of the two or more coatings per side are applied using the blade coating process. Excess solution is sprayed directly onto the paper and is then scraped off by a steel blade. Depending on the pressure of the doctor blade, a uniform paper surface is created as the irregularities in the paper are smoothed out. Each side is coated and dried in sequence to create the correct characteristics for each paper grade. The paper now has the correct base characteristics and the optimum coating consistency, but it does not yet have a perfect surface finish. This is achieved using the Super Calendar. The paper passes through up to 10 rollers, which each apply pressure and temperature. These rolls have different surfaces, such as hard steel and soft rubber, depending on the type of gloss and surface treatment required. As it is wound back onto another steel core for transport, the paper in the jumbo reel now has all the characteristics needed for its end use, apart from one final detail its size. The jumbo reel is transported to a slitter window. Rotary blades cut the reel into several narrow reels, which are rewound and set forward into the finished Paper and reels are simultaneously fed into a sheet, which cuts the paper into sheets and stacks these on the pile. Several printing processes like heat set, web offset, cut star and label presses use paper in real form. These reels remain uncut and are moved forward on automated cup your belt, where the paper have been cut onto sheets for a sheet press or remains in a row for a offset press. The final destination is the same, the packing lines and warehouse. Each reel of paper is wrapped in craft cardboard to avoid damage in transport. Each pallet load of sheet is either shrink wrap or wrapped in rings, ready for delivery to the customer. Every consignment of both sheets and reel is labeled with the brand name and batch number to identify its exact manufacturing history and its destination. All that remains is to ship the paper, now a branded quality controlled product with precise characteristics and performance out to the customer.